Dozens of homeless people have left City Hall in downtown St. Louis, and some are staying put. This is after the city was about to remove the encampment last night, but they waited until today to make that move. We have two reports tonight. Let's begin with five on your side, Justina Coronel. And Justina, we hear the camp has been getting smaller. What are you seeing out there? Yeah, so it's been getting smaller and smaller and just really in a two hour time frame. So we were here just a few hours ago. There were multiple tents out here and multiple people. Now that's dwindled to about three tents and there's some people still on the park grounds, but really just a lot of people have left. We were even seeing city forestry grabbing some bags and putting that into storage. Now we've learned that at least 15 people have gone into shelter. Now this all comes after last night. There was a lot of commotion after police arrived here at 10 o'clock because the property is a city park and it has a curfew. But soon the city's Department of Human Services realized it was unsafe to have people leave at that time frame since many of the shelters have a curfew. Now we've learned the city secured 50 beds at shelters in the city and county. That's why today outreach workers were here sharing transitional housing, transportation and storage information. City leaders said this month long problem created safety concerns, including dozens of EMS calls involving overdoses and seizures. Violence has also been reported here here just this morning we saw one person throw a punch at another but we've also seen bystanders leaving city hall yell and argue with people at the site now nonprofits and organizations have also showed up from from places like st patrick center our city defenders urban league ready to provide employment and housing you're basically uplifting their house because that's their house and you're throwing it away and you're throwing them away and you just can't do these people like this and i just felt that it was just my job and my duty as a person, not as a, you know, it's just as a person in general, to address them and make sure that they have the right type of situation. As far as what's next, that curfew here is 10 o'clock, so people will be forced to leave. Reporting live, Gina Cornell, five on your side.